Hi, it's Katrina. From mothers keeping babies in their mouths to males carrying eggs, here are 10 incredible births in the animal kingdom. Number 10. African Cichlid It's understandable, natural even, that parents want to keep their children safe from danger, but the African cichlid takes protective parenting at least one step beyond the norm. African cichlids are mouth brooding, meaning that a female will lay the eggs in the nest for the male to fertilize. Then she scoops them up with her mouth where they remain until they hatch, between 10 and 15 days after fertilization. Once the babies are born, they remain in the mother's mouth for up to two more weeks only leaving to feed. When danger threatens, the vigilant mother sucks them back inside. How many eggs a mother carries depends on her age and reproductive maturity. While new mothers carry around 10 eggs, more experienced mamas will have up to 30 eggs in their mouths. Males are extremely eager to mate, according to Stanford researchers who study the African cichlid's reproductive process. You'll know this if you have them in an aquarium but they play no role in parenthood and may even eat the babies if they are around when the mother releases them, so she better be careful. Number 9. Longest Brooding Period Several years ago, researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute began observing a female deep-sea octopus off the central California coast. For four and a half years, they watched her guard her eggs roughly 4,600 feet below the water's surface. It's the longest known brooding period of any animal, during which she kept the eggs clean and protected them from predators. For many female octopuses, laying eggs is the beginning of the end. They stop eating and waft currents of water over the eggs to make sure they get enough oxygen, so she never leaves them alone. Before this, biologists didn't know how long this brooding period lasted, until the team found this mother octopus with their sub. The scientists who kept an eye on the deep-sea mother-to-be for nearly five years never witnessed her eating throughout their 18 dives, and they saw her push away crabs and shrimp that came too close. They even tried offering her food using a robot arm, but she turned them down. It's possible that she occasionally snagged a bite, but they never saw it. Over time, she began wasting away, and the researchers noticed her losing weight and her skin becoming loose and pale while her eyes were cloudy. They witnessed her for the last time in September 2011. The octopus was gone the next time the scientists went to check on her. Her eggs had all hatched and just their remains were proof of her lengthy presence there. In total, she spent 53 months making her the record holder for the longest brooding period and the epitome of parental sacrifice. To learn more, you can watch a mother octopus on the BBC series Life. Number 8. Centipede Who would have thought about centipedes, right? At first glance, there is nothing remarkable about centipede reproduction. Like many insects, most of them lay eggs. However, some species do have live births. Most male centipedes will perform a little mating dance to impress the female. They produce a spermatophore for the female to take or simply leave it behind for her to find. Females lay between 10 and 60 eggs depending on the species. Some species will actually curl around their eggs or sit on them to guard them closely. Who knew, right? The mom will protect them from predators and lick them to remove mold spores until they hatch. Depending on the circumstances, the mother-to-be might abandon or even eat her own eggs. Remember, nature is rough. But when things go according to plan, she often stays with the baby centipedes until after they hatch and start to disperse. The little hatchlings are miniature versions of adults. They don't have all of their legs, but gain them as they grow. Number 7. Naked Mole Rat This creature just keeps coming up for so many reasons. They have super weird teeth that move like chopsticks, they are clearly quite ugly, and they do not feel pain. But it gets even weirder. The queen of a naked mole rat colony is its only reproductive female, like a queen bee. She does not inherit her position at the top. Instead, she seizes the throne by force, a la Game of Thrones, by killing the current queen and taking her place. As soon as she becomes queen, she begins birthing litters like crazy, with each being larger than the next. This happens because unlike all other mammals, the naked mole rat's bones continue growing after it reaches adulthood. With each pregnancy, the space between the queen's vertebrae and spine, known as the intervertebral disc space, grows slightly. The earliest litters number between 10 and 15 offspring. Over time, a single litter can include as many as 33 pups, more than any other mammal in the animal kingdom. And you thought rabbits reproduce fast. Nope! Then there could be many more of these mole rats running around. Aren't you excited?
Number 6. Egg-Laying Mammals Duck-billed platypuses are an ancient mammal known as a monotreme and one of two mammals who lay eggs as opposed to giving birth. A female platypus burrows and seals herself into an underground tunnel on the riverbank when she's ready to have offspring. There, she lays one of two eggs. To keep them warm, she stores them between her rear end and tail. The eggs hatch bean-sized babies about 10 days later, and for the next three to four months, the babies wean, learning how to swim on their own in the meantime. Monotremes and their relatives were once not only common, but were Australia's dominant mammals. They were nearly wiped out after the arrival of marsupials, or pouch-bearing animals like kangaroos and their ancestors, between 71 and 54 million years ago. The echidna, which also lives in Australia, is the only other egg-laying mammal on Earth besides the platypus and is the world's oldest surviving mammal. Number 5. A Virgin Birth In December 2001, a female hammerhead shark gave birth at the Henry Dorley Zoo in Omaha, Nebraska. The miraculous thing was that there were no male members of her species in the tank, and she hadn't been near a male hammerhead in over three years. So how did this happen? At first, researchers assumed she'd mated with a tank mate of another species, or used sperm that was stored in her body from a very long time ago, which female sharks are capable of doing, although usually not three years later. But a subsequent DNA analysis showed that her baby contained no male DNA. This is called parthenogenesis. This is the phenomenon of a female animal reproducing without mating. It happens with various creatures and in most vertebrate lines, including some snakes and lizards, but not mammals. However, this was the first recorded instance of it happening with a shark or a cartilaginous fish. During the cell division process that normally creates an egg, the creature's genetic material combines. The offspring therefore possesses two copies of half the parent's chromosomes, making them a half-clone. The Belle Isle Aquarium in Detroit later reported observing parthenogenesis among their white bamboo sharks. The phenomenon wasn't scientifically proven, but Dr. Mahmoud S. Shivji, director of the Guy Harvey Research Institute and the author of a study about the hammerhead shark, told the New York Times that it's reasonable to assume that parthenogenesis is more widespread among different shark lineages. It's a last resort tactic that animals use when they absolutely can't find another mate, according to Dr. Robert E. Huter, the director of the Center for Shark Research at the Moat Marine Laboratory in Sarasota, Florida. While this last-ditch strategy may prevent a species from extinction, it is also not a viable long-term plan, as it leads to a lack of genetic diversity. Pretty fascinating, just the same. Number 4. Baby Carrying Males the seahorse is the only creature that truly experiences a male pregnancy. Its procreative process begins with a couple of seahorses dancing in the morning as a way to gauge one another's reproductive quality while clinging to underwater vegetation and intertwining their little tails. This eventually leads to an eight-hour-long courtship dance during which the female puts eggs into the male's brood pouch. Once the eggs are in the male's pouch, he fertilizes them. As the eggs grow, the father regulates the water salinity within his pouch so that his babies are born ready for their marine life. Then, after a 10 to 25 day pregnancy, depending on the species, the eggs hatch as the father has contractions, and he gives birth to up to 2,000 baby seahorses. Once the fry or baby seahorses are born, they're on their own. Neither parent affords them any protection or guidance as they navigate their way through the seas. Between being eaten by predators and swept away by sea currents, roughly 5 out of every 1,000 fry survive into adulthood. That's why they need to have so many! There are around 40 seahorse species, all belonging to the hippocampus genus, who inhabit tropical and temperate coastal waters worldwide. They range from less than an inch to almost a foot in length. Number 3. One Big Egg New Zealand's kiwi bird lays the largest egg in proportion to its body size of any bird on Earth, with one egg amounting to about a quarter of the mother's weight. This flightless avian species is about the size of a chicken, yet its egg is around 10 times the size of a chicken egg, and it lays up to 100 of them annually. There is an advantage to laying such a large egg. Its yolk is big and provides ample nutrition, leading to a well-developed chick. What this amounts to is a very independent baby, and less energy invested on the mother's behalf into raising them once they're born. Another possible reason that the kiwi bird's egg is so big is because the bird may have once been as large as its ancestors, the emu and the ostrich. Through evolution, the kiwi bird became smaller, but its egg remained the same size. Number 2. Dolphins Unlike many mammals and other creatures, dolphins lack a designated breeding season. They can reproduce at any time with little rhyme or reason to the process. 
The gestation period is kind of long, roughly a year, after which a 25 to 40 pound, four foot long calf is born tail first underwater. The mother immediately pushes her newborn to the surface for oxygen. From there on out, the calf instinctively swims alongside its mother in what's known as the echelon position, enabling it to keep up with her without exerting much effort, and while simultaneously nursing multiple times daily. Somehow they manage to feed without any water getting sucked in, and these newborns also learn how to use their blowhole by judging an appropriate distance to the water's surface for air. Aw, so cute. Calves nurse for between one and three years while being introduced to other food sources in the meantime, like fish and squid. Dolphins have many different partners. Male dolphins are typically not very direct toward females about their attraction, but can become more aggressive in their advances if she fails to initially show interest. Males eagerly combat and warn one another when it comes to females, and the whole thing can get pretty intense. Number 1. A Standing Delivery After a 14 to 15 month pregnancy, a female giraffe delivers a 100 to 150 pound, 6 foot tall calf. Usually, the baby's hooves exit first, followed by its nose and head. On average, labor takes just 30 to 60 minutes total. The little one's drop from their mother's womb to the ground is also about six feet high. As painful as it might sound as the baby thuds against the ground, this fall helps break the umbilical cord, ruptures the amniotic sac, and encourages the calf to take its first breaths. The mother immediately cleans her baby after it falls to the ground, and right after that, the newborn begins attempting to walk. Within an hour of being born, a calf will stand on their own and take their first steps. Less than a day later, they'll be running like a pro. They better, otherwise the lions will try to get them and they have to be able to get away fast. Female giraffes are creatures of habit when it comes to childbearing and will often return to the same place repeatedly to give birth. These sites are known as calving grounds and often remain the same throughout several generations, meaning a mother giraffe may deliver her offspring at the same place where she was born. Thanks for watching! Which one was your favorite? Were you surprised by any of these? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time! Bye!